Hey guys and welcome back. I hope you're having a wonderful day and today's video is a review on the McCart Nude, I think it's a nude poly gel kit. I mean that's the only thing I could think of it being. There's actually no name. Um, it's the um, the nude coloured poly gels anyway so I'm just calling it the nude poly gel kit. <laughs> um, so this kit comes with uh, dual forms, nail forms, it comes with a 100 to 180 grit file, a top and a base coat, the spatula slash javelin brush picker tool, which is obviously the spatula on one end and the brush on the other. I love the detail in the lid. I think that is really, really pretty. Um, as to me just pushing out the packing powder, there was packing powder in the brush. It comes with a two-in-one nail surface cleaner, which is also your slip solution. And then it comes with the six polygel colours, and they range from numbers 331 to 336. These don't actually have names. I don't know why, but yeah, they, they don't have names. Um, <laughs> so this is... Uh, oh, sorry. I do, um, I do swatch them all on a piece of paper for you, don't worry. It also comes with a... Um, buckler little um, uh, instructions and on the back page it shows you all their other products they all come sealed which is great um, and I'm just showing you this is 331 by the way I'm just showing what they look like out of the bottle like when they're still in the bottle but I do swatch them onto paper I actually end up using 335 um, so yeah <laughs> but they range from a really light shade to a, a nice dark shade so that's great I think they really cater to every skin tone, um, which is fab, I find, because, yeah, um, it's quite hard to find, like, a nice nude for your own, like, from, for, like, your own skin tone and stuff like that, and I usually, I'm really, um, I really like the Cosselia, um, I think it's, like, number four, number seven, um, I really love that nude, so anyway, I am using tips today, I buffed off the natural shine, they're not natural shine, I buffed off the shine from the natural nail and I'm just pouring in some of that slip solution slash nail cleanser into a little dampen dish. Um, I glued these tips on with, um, basically I put down some Peely Base Coat and then I glued the tips down um, because I'm going to pop these off to get more content out. By the way guys, I am going to, um, as of this week, I'm going to go back to well, no, not back to, sorry. I'm going to do every other day. Um, so about three, four videos a week at the moment just because I'm starting to get busy with the kids and stuff because it's been really nice out and we're sorting out garden and stuff like that. And yeah. Um, so here you can see me just applying the base coat. The base coat's really nice. Um, it's not too thick. It's not too runny. Um, it cured. I cured it for 60 seconds and it was great. It, I had no problems with it. Um, the poly jello, on the other hand, I've recorded this voiceover about four times now because I want to give you my honest opinion. The colours are lovely. The kit is great. The only problem... Well, I can't say the kit is great because great would imply that it is amazing and there's no flaws. I found that this poly gel was incredibly sticky. And by sticky, I mean, like, I've used a lot of poly gel so far this year. I only started doing nails in January. I'm not a professional, but this poly gel, like I've used a lot of poly gel. You've seen, I've got different videos of poly gel. Um, but this, uh, this poly gel just, I was constantly dipping my brush into the slip solution. Like I'm not even kidding. Um, the last two nails, I actually wasn't even like, uh, what's the word? Uh, like putting the slip, I was putting the brush into the slip solution, and I wasn't even like dampening it off on the uh, napkin that I had. I don't know if it's just the, the kit that I got. I, I don't know, and I had such high expectations for my car because I've heard nothing but good things. So I was quite disappointed to find out that this was incredibly sticky. And as you can see, like I'm trying to like mold it into place, and it is just moving around, and it's just it's just sticky and like if you apply too much slip solution to poly gel it starts to break it up so it was like a lose-lose situation and I was trying so hard to make it work with like minimal slip solution then a lot of slip solution I was trying guys um I actually cut out the last two fingers purely because this video was going to be way too long because I must have spent about five 
to 10 minutes on each nail trying to mold it perfectly and because obviously I've used a peely base coat I wanted to make it perfect with application because I couldn't file too hard in case the nails popped off. Um, maybe I'll try this kit again some other time and give it a second go because um, I actually have a couple of McCart polygel kits that I want to try so yeah I like I've bought a couple of polygel kits so you know I'm hoping it was just this one and you never know the other polygel kits because obviously it's different colors and different like um uh like jelly the jelly kit for instance is like see-through so maybe it's different I don't know um but yeah I was I was quite gutted I'll be honest um like I said, they're lush colours and everything and ever and the stickiness of the poly gel, it went too bad. Although I did have basically I cured um each nail for 30 seconds, just a flash, it's not a flash cure, it's like a half flash cure. <laughs> um in between each nail I was curing just for 30 seconds, and then at the end I put it in the lamp for a full 60 seconds. My lamp is an LED UV and it's a 72 watt lamp. So it's not my lamp. Um so basically I um, wiped away the sticky tacky layer with their surface cleaner and it was still sticky. So I then wiped it with my own alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and it was still kind of sticky. It was like the, the sticky layer was just really sticky. As you can see there in the cuticle as well. Sorry that the focus is going in and out. I tried to zoom in just so you guys could see properly. Um, so I might go out of focus a little bit and I might go out of frame. Sorry, I'm I'm going to get used to this, but I just wanted you guys to see the application more clearly. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I just had trouble with this, um, with this poly gel, which I'm really sad about because, yeah. Um, but I'm going to let you guys watch the application and, um, I'll be back in a bit. So enjoy guys. <laughs>
guys and I'm back. So this here, there's a nail that popped off by the way um, and I couldn't get it back on because it had poly gel on. So yeah, um, <laughs> it's on the paper there. Uh, that paper, that napkin underneath is all the times that I pulled off sticky gel and, and cleaned off my gel. The big lump is from me pulling it off down at the bottom, but the rest of the blobs, that's from me cleaning my brush off and um, my brush, as you've seen, just got gunky all the time. Um, and it was still sticky when I was trying to file. And, and you've seen, I really wiped the sticky tacky layer off hard. But eh. So this is after I filed. I did do a pretty good job with the shaping um, whilst moulding the poly gel. So I didn't actually file too much. This is what I meant because anyway, I've got... Um, what's it called? Uh... <laughs> because <laughs> I've got the peely base coat on. So now I've just flipped my uh, dampened dish upside down and I've put some uh, lavender violet uh, white nail gel on top of the actual bottom of the glass because it's upside down. And now I'm just going to paint um, the edges up the sides like into a triangle point. My hand art is not great, guys. Um, but yeah, I just... Paint, do this to every nail <clears throat> and then I cure for 30 seconds in my nail lamp I was flash curing in between but then I do a full cure at the end then of 30 seconds and um, I uh, made some pigment powders uh, I actually made a video um, last week I think it was um, of me making pigment powders out of chalk um, so be sure to go and watch that guys it's really easy but basically I just filed some chalk onto a piece of paper and then I poured it into a tar into a little jar um, and I don't wipe the sticky layer off of this white gel I leave it on and then I brush the um, powder with like a the actual the, that dip kits little brush that I said was too small I used it for this <laughs> so I told you I'd use it guys um but yeah I brushed uh, the pigments in with that it does get messy so make sure you put down a piece of tissue paper if you do want to um try this design yourself um and then once I'd done that I just brushed all the excess off and I put the top coat on and cured for a full 60 seconds and that was pretty much it guys uh bearing in mind now when I do the pigment powders don't do what I did put your hand flat because I brushed it and it fell onto the other nails <laughs> so it didn't turn out amazingly but like I said I'm still learning and I'm trying and I upload my videos just to show that you know I'm a beginner and I want to progress and one day I can look back and see my progress and how well I've done and how far I've come and hopefully it'll inspire someone to start their nails as well do you know what I mean so yeah um but other than that guys i think that's pretty much it um yeah i think so uh other than the stickiness of the poly gel you know it, i enjoyed doing this set it was just the stickiness really got on my nerves but hopefully my next macaque kit isn't sticky <laughs> but yeah guys i'm going to leave it here and i'm going to let you watch the rest of the video thank you so much for watching and if you like don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below i will see you all in the next one guys stay safe keep on smiling bye